Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, it's uh, Thursday, February 27th, and it's 737. I just wanted to point something out that I find very interesting here. I wanted to find out, um, I had shared a video, video the other day from Logic Before Authority, and I had watched several of his older videos of late. And I was anxiously waiting for the next one. He said he would have one, maybe two per day from that day forward. But he did say he wasn't feeling well. Well, I thought, well, there'll be others. So I typed in current news on the coronavirus. I just wanted to know what was going on. Well, let me tell you who's got something new to watch. Channel 4 News, CNBC, NBC, MSNBC, CBS, CBS This Morning, ABC News, CBS This Morning, CNBC Television. CNBC Television, ABC News, CBS Evening News, BBC News. I could go on. CNN, CNN. Here's Guardian News. Now, I, <sighs> Guardian News. Is that mainstream media? These are all, well, this one's from China, so I think Airang News. It's got a thing with news under it. looks just like MSNBC or CBS. The point is, I don't know about Sky News. The coronavirus overtakes the SARS death toll. The virus has officially killed more people than the 2003 SARS outbreak, Tom Cheshire reports from a makeshift hospital in Well, where'd they get that from? Oh, Beijing, a makeshift hospital in Beijing that was built during the SARS epidemic and is being rebuilt to treat patients infected with coronavirus. Beijing, that's China. The vast majority, 811 of the 813 recorded deaths, have been in China, where the virus originated. This is Sky News. So, yeah, they're not telling the truth. Thumbs down. So, it looks like... Um, well, here's Dr. John Campbell. Is he telling the truth? Has anybody been watching him? This is COVID. Well, good afternoon, everyone. A warm welcome. Uh, 26th of February developments. Current severe cases are 8.752. Now, I don't know if that's million. Suspected cases, 2,491. No, these numbers are nowhere near high enough. Confirmed deaths, 2,763. Do you think logic before authority had some sort of a uh, bunch of lies cooked up there for his video? It looks like they've stopped anybody from putting out 
the, the truth on what's really going on. And that is just in my honest opinion. So we just hang tight with the Lord, trust in Him with all of our heart, and lean not on our own understanding. Whatever you hear on the news, you might as well chuck, chalk it up as not believing you. I'm not. These numbers are nowhere near what those people in China were putting out before they clearly stopped them. I mean, why are they advertising for people they need to burn the bodies from midnight to 4 a.m. willing to pay so much money? You think that was propaganda? For what? I just found it, you know, for them to totally cut out allowing anybody else to put any news out on this clearly shows exactly what's going on. Do they think we're stupid? Do you people really think we buy into this? Now what are we supposed to believe if you're not going to allow the truth? We don't believe you, you mainstream media people, because you don't tell the truth. You see, you've lost all credibility. There's just been too much. Too much you've done. And people have had cell phones, taking pictures, taking their own video. And we know the truth. And then you take our videos down and call us some things you shouldn't, like we're liars and making stuff up. I had videos taken down just because I reported something Somebody saw with their own eyes and caught with their own camera. They didn't want it, people to know. And then they have the nerve. The family sued Alex Jones because he reported on the Sandy Hook problem that went on, on at that elementary school that was shut down and completely empty. I'm just flabbergasted and disgusted with the whole mess of them. Can't believe a single thing any of them put out. And they did it to their self. You're no longer trustworthy. ABC, NBC, CBS, not even Fox. Although I didn't see any listed as Fox. It could have been one down there. Didn't even have any in my mailbox, come think of it. Oh well, such is life. We're at the end, and we won't be here much longer. Aren't you glad? I don't know how much longer, but as somebody put it, is it possible for history to repeat itself? Perhaps uh, we'll go when the exodus was. You know, the first exodus where they had to put the blood on their doorposts and the lentils. They had to eat their sandals on, their walking sticks in hand. They had to eat bitter herbs and lamb. They had to cook a lamb, enough for the whole family. Uh, or share one with two families and they had to eat it all up. Or if they couldn't, they had to burn it all up. They couldn't leave any behind. I never did quite understand that, but God has his ways. Anyway, um, I do not know when. Uh, let me just look that up. Uh, let's pull up here. Let's pull up a new, uh, new tab and go to Google and put, hopefully this 
will keep my face in the middle. When is Passover? Oh, it's on my daughter's birthday, April 8th until the 16th. So it's it's an eight day, it's one of those eight day feasts. So you have a time period. You won't know the day or the hour. Passover 2020. Now that's going to be according to which calendar you use. We have God's calendar, en the Enoch calendar. Let me put, when is Passover? According to the Enoch calendar. Uh, oh, here's uh, the heresy of the Enoch calendar. Oh, I don't care. Never mind. Okay. Okay, it's not. Let me see if there's anything farther down. It is, it's just saying what it is. It's not saying um, when all the feast days are according to it. So maybe somebody could dig into that and find out for us when Passover is according to God's calendar or Enoch's calendar because you know they're always different. They are always different uh, no matter what. When the Jews, Orthodox Jews in Israel are planning to celebrate Passover or uh, Hanukkah or anything like that, it's always different by God's calendar or what they call the Enoch calendar. Whichever one, I don't even know if they're different or the same. But anyway, that's just a little tidbit of something I wanted to tell you we probably won't get anything any real updates anymore i'm going to plead the blood of jesus over this video and the internet connection and over myself and over each and every one of you and your devices and over your internet connections which if i didn't say so already uh I'm turning my Wi-Fi off now 12 hours a day when I sleep at night when I'm done at night I turn it off and when I'm ready to take a nap I turn it off so hopefully I'm hoping my dog's stomach's all messed up so I'm hoping that'll fix him if not, I'm, I may leave it off for more than that and try to go downstairs to upload any videos or watch them. It, I can't seem to connect to the Greenbrier Wi-Fi up here. So I don't know if that's because I have my own and they know it. Uh, they, whoever they is... Or what? Anyway, with that I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.